Hey everyone, this look is going to show you how to do a really wearable mauve eye look. So mauve is just a kind of toned down pinky shade, kind of with some browns involved as well. I'm going to be using a very inexpensive palette from Wet n Wild. So if you're interested in seeing how to achieve this eye look, keep watching. Okay, first step, we're going to prime our eyelid with the primer of your choice. Um, I want to give this shadow that I'm putting on my lid a little extra help to kind of stand out and be light and shimmery. So I'm going to use this shadow magnet from Be Luscious and my shade that I have it in is light and so I'm just going to put a really light layer of that all over my lid and just blend whatever excess that's on your lid kind of blend it up into the crease okay next step we're going to grab our wet n wild mega eyes trio okay so they look like this they have these little mirrors that pop out on the side like that so that's kind of cool um this shade set is, I believe it's Mojave Mauves. So, um, Mauves, generally, if you're not real familiar with um, what that kind of shade is, you know, it's just kind of like a, a dusty sort of dirty pink shade, kind of. And I'm going to use this top shade, which is like a light shimmery pink in this set. And I'm taking my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm just packing that on top of the primer there. Just giving ourselves a nice light base to work off of. Just like so. Keep building it to be the intensity you want it to be. Okay. Alright, next I'm going to grab my Sonia Kashuk Medium Shadow Brush and I'm going to use this pretty taupe shade down here at the bottom. It's maybe got a little, you know, it's kind of like a, a, a brownish with hints of gray to it. And I'm going to just dip into that, which is it's a really nice soft shade. Um, it's not like chalky. It's really kind of nicely pigmented actually. And so then I'm just going to apply that right there in my crease. This is maybe one of my favorite uh, taupe shades, surprisingly. So just pack it right there into your crease and you've got a nice, like, that could be your stopping point if you didn't want to go any darker. Um, oftentimes, you know, my, my looks that I do on my eyes are kind of like that, you know. If, if it's too intense for you and you look at the finished look, you know, go back, watch the video and see, okay, could I just take it to that point for daytime? And that would be, you know, just fine. Although I think this whole look it would be appropriate for a daytime. Um daytime look with like a little bit of a glamorous touch if you want to add the false lashes. Then I'm taking my Sephora rounded crease brush and just blending it out. This is a bare brush like I kind of blogged about how um, these, you know, just using a bare blending brush can be a great key to getting, you know, blending out harsh edges. So now we've just deepened that subtly and the next step, taking my, um, this is my fine crease brush from Essence of Beauty and I'm going to go in for this deep mauve, or deep mauve. It's really more of a maroonish mauve shade here. And I'm just going to pack that on my brush. You don't have to work too hard because this really does sh uh, show up rather well. And just start working that into your crease. It's kind of like we're going between the taupe and the light pink. And just really warming warming that whole area up there. And we're going to really subtly work it out to an outer V here. Just kind of working off of the corner of the eye, the top of the crease, and move it out just like that, okay? Next step, if you want to go over that again with your um, rounded crease brush, or you may not necessarily have the rounded crease brush, but whatever fluffy blending brush you have, and then just take that light pink That'll serve as our highlight once again. So you've really got everything you need kind of nicely contained in this palette. You don't, for this particular look, you don't really have to look any further in terms of the shades that you have. And that's the shadow. For the liner, I'm going to go ahead and use this Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen, which still seems to be doing fairly well. Again, it's not quite the the darkness level of the Revlon Color Stay regular traditional liquid liner, but you have to kind of like go over your line just a bit, but really it's lasted me a long time, so I'm kind of impressed with it. 
It's easy to control, like I've said in the past, so. So there's your basic line, but for this we're going to go and glam it up just a little bit and wing this out just slightly by thickening the line and just going out past our traditional lash line there. Okay, and now once you look at that and you see if you want to adjust your eyeshadow based on that line because that's sort of like we've created a new end to our eye there. So I might want to go back with that darkest maroon shade we used in the corner of this palette and sort of go off of that a little bit more for that darkest shade. You know what I mean? Makes it look a little more like that fits in. Okay. Next for lower liner, I'm going to take my Revlon Color Stay pencil liner in Blackberry. Just a tone, um, sort of a, a plummy burgundy tone that works out nicely with this set of eyeshadow shades. And we're just kind of flicking it up to blend with our liquid liner there that we applied. And then applying it just all the way around our lower lash line. Next you may want to kind of blend that out just a bit to keep it to having sort of that soft effect. So I'm just taking a little sponge tip, smudger tip thing. And then I'm going to use my Taclon liner brush, angle liner brush from Coastal Scents. Dip into that mauve color again and you sort of use this as your top off shade. I think I might coin that term, your top off shade, the shade that you put over any lower liner to kind of set it and finish that look. And there you go. Now we're going to move on to mascara. This looks going by really quickly. It tends to do that when all your stuff's coming from one little manageable palette. I'm going to curl my eyelashes, hold it there for 15 seconds. All right, for mascara, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Hip Mascara on my top lashes. And then once I'm done with this, this is just kind of getting them ready for the false lashes. Um, I'm going to use my um, Too Faced Lash Injection on the bottom just because I love the fact that you can wear that on the bottom and it doesn't smudge whatsoever. Very reliable in that respect. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that and apply my lashes which will be the Revlon Fantasy Lengths in Defining. It's the less intense of the two that I have and I'm going to be using glue to put them on so it may take me a little bit longer to do that but I will because I've used them several times with the self-adhesive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply those and then I'll join you back here with the hey guys, finish. Here's my finished look. It's just a really wearable mauve look that you could do just about anything with. I mean you can dress it up with some false eyelashes like I did or you could stop midway and kind of keep the darker tones out of it but it's still just a really wearable really really inexpensive look. Now if you're wondering what's on my lips um, scanning my little table for it. Here we go. Um, I first put on my lips, I, I use the Volume XL Seduction Plumping Lip Color. You know how I like the gloss and now I have the lip color in In the Nude, number 620. So it's a shade that looks like that. I put it all over and you can really feel the tingle on that. So if you're not a fan of the tingle, you know, you can be aware you can definitely feel that. And then I grabbed my Coastal Scents um, 32 color lip palette and I used a couple of shades to kind of top it off and sort of recreate the mauve look with this and they were um, these two right here. So this one's a little more pinky, or wait, these two. I don't know if I pointed to the right ones, but this one's a little more pinky and this one's just a little darker that I used kind of on the outer parts. So um, I hope you guys like this look. Um, again, very easy to recreate and uh, have a great day.